this week we're supposed to um, read read the passage in in uh, Mark and no John, and uh, that that talks about when the disciples when Jesus had taught them something and the disciples were getting discouraged, and some of them weren't following him anymore, and. Uh, Peter said, Lord, to whom shall we go? Well, Jesus said, um, uh, who, uh, aren't you going to, aren't you going to go with them too and quit following? And, and Jesus, and Peter said, Lord, to whom shall we go? And we're supposed to think of something, how, how we can, um, or what, what we would do in a situation like that. And, um, what I thought is that, when, whenever we come to trials or, or things, we have to make a decision. Always, or most of the time, there's, there's, we can see what the Lord wants and what, what the right, right thing to do is. I was thinking about how when he said that, uh, made me think there's, there's nothing else to quit to, because Jesus is the only way, so we don't get to quit. I thought about how when, when he, when he asked them that, they, they. They realized there there wasn't anything else. Everything else was empty. They the he had the words to life to the only thing that had any meaning for them. I would hope that if I would be faced with that situation, that Jesus would turn and ask me if I would leave. I would be. I think I would be tended to act like Peter did when uh, uh, when he said that he would fight and die for the Lord. And that's just that's where I'd hope I'd be anyway. It is the spirit that gives life, but the flesh profits nothing. These words that are spoken to you are spirit and our life. When I think about that, um, to whom would you go? There's, there's nothing better. Um, it's just that Jesus is the truth and the life and the way. And, and um, that's just the way. And... If if you you go from that, if you depart from that, you're um, with Satan on the on the other side. Yeah. Um, yes, I thought about how if the disciples would have, I mean, when they said to whom would you go, they were to whom would we go? Um, they were thinking, you know, if they would leave, there wouldn't be much to fight for anymore. I mean, that that just take everything out of it. They'd have to go back to the old. Jewish practices and everything. And yeah, they had learned from Jesus the way of life, and now they couldn't go back. If they would have, if he said to him, "Shall we go?" And if and if you know, if David talked about, if you desert the your side, you desert to the foe. I was just thinking about how. Either and that goes to show us really good how either you're close to Jesus and following Him, or you're not, and everything else is just lost. Jesus is our hope, and like He asked them, to whom, or they said, to whom would we go? There was nothing that they knew with that had value other than Jesus. I thought about to whom shall you go, and the disciples on their face that faced that decision, they knew that going back, there was nothing to go back to. I mean, they knew where it was at, and they knew there was nothing left in the world that could do anything for them when they was with Jesus, so they stay with Jay, just stay with Jesus. After Peter had asked, to whom shall we go, Jesus said, have I not chosen you, the twelve, and yet one of you is a devil? And he was talking about he was talking about Judas, who was going to betray him, and he always knew. He knew all along that Judas was going to betray him, but he still, it was amazing he was still willing to give Judas a good chance and have him as one of his disciples. I was thinking about uh, what Maury had. There's always a choice in every decision you make, uh, God's way or your way. I just have a testimony, and it is. Uh, I want, to, I want to hear well done at the end of my life. And, and that, to me, that means doing and not just saying. And it's more and more putting Jesus' words into practice because they are life, and I don't know anything else. 
that that would give life to me or anybody. And in fact, when I think about it, it overwhelms me to see how all, all things good flow from, from God. And, and we, if we try to obtain something good outside of that, we're deluding ourselves because it all comes from Him. I mean, if you look at creation, and it's, it's all one creation. It's created by God. And, and we, look at, we look at ourselves and our, our nature and how it's corrupt. And we know that there's only one way. There's only one way to, to be healed. And so I guess I'm kind of like Peter. I don't, I don't know what else there is to go to. Every time I, I turn, it's just like, wow, there's nothing out there's nothing out there. Absolutely nothing. So that's my testimony.